Halloween festivities are starting around Syracuse and CNY. And our Maura Vaughn is joining us from a trunk or treat event in North Syracuse. And Maura, I have to ask, are we too old to trunk or treat tonight? Jake and John, while you two might be a little old as juniors and seniors to be trunk or treating, I think it's okay then since I'm a sophomore to be live at the gathering place for the seventh annual trunk or treat. And as you can see, the event just began. We have a shark right behind me. We have a movie theater, Paw Patrol. This is such a great event for the night and the weather is not putting a damper on all the festivities. I had the opportunity to speak to Pastor Ben Tinch of the gathering place who spoke about why this is so important for the community in regards to safety and gathering. So we started doing the trunk or treat event almost seven years ago, and it's just a great way for us as a church community to get together. Our church people have brought together 20,000 pieces of candy, and we just give those out to our community. It's just a way for us to love on our community with the love of Jesus. I think the trunk or treat event is a very safe place. I think it's a good idea for churches or communities to do these events. Uh, you can do it in a well-lit area. We have a police officer on duty. Uh, and it just gets everybody in a good, safe place, yeah. And I'm here with some trick-or-treaters right now, and I'm with Minnie, I mean Mickey, I'm sorry, and Snow White. And guys, on the count of three, let's say Happy Halloween. You ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy Halloween! Reporting for Citrus TV News, this is Maura Vaughn, Jake and John, back to you.